Hello everyone, we're back to Tekus McGinnis Elder Care Law Hour. I'm Tim Tekus and today we're speaking about residential options for seniors. And I'm Barbara McGinnis. In this final segment, we're going to have Zachary Watson, who's the CEO of Honeyco Homes, and he's going to be telling us about how to use technology to help seniors age in place and stay at home safely. Welcome, Zach. Thank you for having me, and thanks for doing this service, chatting with everybody in the industry to, to give information to those who need it the most. Absolutely. We love it. Tell us about Honeyco Home. So Honeyco is a, is a software company that makes all of the devices that are out there useful for communities caring for older adults. Um, and by communities, I mean adult children, mm -hmm. service providers such as in-home care. Um, what we do is we, we take the available hardware like the Amazon Echo or a uh, motion detector and we pull it together to make communication easy among those stakeholders. So is that like the Internet of Things, or is that kind right. of like some kind of sort of that we sometimes it, we hear about? It absolutely about? is. Yeah, it is. It is the Internet of Things. Um, it is the Internet of Caring Things. Uh, it's a it's a way to bring the rapid innovation that's taken place over the last mm -hmm. decade um, of all of these little pieces that are gathering information. Our company makes the data that they're gathering useful. Um, to provide lower cost options for people who are interested in staying in their own home, who maybe have family members that are concerned about their well-being and, and need to have some support in between care visits if they have somebody, mm -hmm. um, if they have a service caring for them. Um, but we also, in, in one week actually from today, so when this, maybe a week before this airs, um, we're, we're releasing a service, and you are, this is a, an exclusive of Tacus, Tacus McGinnis, yep. um, that, uh, that actually helps in-home care providers uh, supervise the care visits that are, are being delivered to the care recipients in their own home. Okay. Tell us specifically about how that works. So yeah. that's, I mean, you know, so, yeah. I mean, that's really intriguing to us, you know, how, how that it works. It is, it is, it, there it is such a big industry, it is so, in-home care, it is uh -huh. so fragmented, and the, the employees who are delivering the service constantly turning over, so there needs to be some supervision of this service. So what we've done is, We've built a, a, an, an interface for the service provider to relay information about the delivery of care mm -hmm. as it's happening, and then we look at that information and flag it Okay, so manager. So you have a you have a caregiver that shows up at the home, and they're able to provide information real time. Exactly to your to some which somebody over then, here, which is then given to the family members who you know are, are and often paying for that service. Uh -huh. So they want to know that the service is being delivered. Right. But then the information about that uh, care visit is then processed, and the the supervis the supervisory staff of the care company can look at that and decide if they need to follow up with the caregiver okay. or with the resident. Do this, not do this, do this, does the doctor need to be called, all those sorts of things? Is so that kind of what we're talking it's, about? Well, it's, I mean, it's even very basic, as yeah. in, is the, are the, are the services being reported, um, do they kind of make sense, right? So do they follow the plan of care? Did the caregiver say that, you know, she assisted with dressing before she gave a bath? Well, that's that's odd, right? right? So why don't why don't we look into this? Why don't we bring more accountability to the exchange? Okay. Um, ultimately, we want to help, obviously, the people that are that are receiving the care. Right. But we also we know that there's there's absolutely no way for the demographics as they are to take care of a population um, that's, that's growing. That's growing. Oh, yeah. So the forty six to 64 year olds right now, that group is seven, yes, mm -hmm. us, seven, right. yes. seven yeah. people to 64 plus yeah. today. Mm -hmm. In 30 years, it's going to be half of that, yeah. right? It actually goes down to three people between 46 and 64. 
uh, they're taking care of people over 64. So, so we have to have some technology so you, to You've help. got a shrinking pool of caregivers, exactly. a growing pool of people that are needing care. So you're looking at how do we use software, in yes. your case, to help make that care more efficient exactly. and uh, accountable. Yeah. But, okay, so this is a real simple question. Okay. Older people aren't really well known for being tech savvy yep. as a group, let's just say. So how how hard is this going to be for them to use in their home? So that's it's actually it's entirely passive. Okay. Um, so it's transparent to them. It's, it is. It's it's as visible as a home alarm system, okay. right? And so one of our founding principles was that we're not we're not in the business of changing behavior. So we know that. Even with the medical, uh, the the PERS device, right, the mm -hmm. personal mm -hmm. emergency yeah. response system. Call I right. can't get up thing. Yeah, yeah. one of one of the uh, most likely times that somebody will fall is in the middle of the night going to the restroom, and often uh, people won't put that on because it's a behavioral change, right? right. And right. so our our goal has to create technology so that their the resident doesn't have to do anything press any buttons it just collects the information and then responds appropriately okay so where do we go to get information I mean can I go see this like can I go to your office or yeah. can we have Absolutely. And, and see how it works yes yes we do we do live demos at our office in Sylvan Park uh, our website is honeyco.com right and they can call the number we've got it right on the screen here Fantastic. and they call you and say Zach help us out and we want to go look and see how this works for my mom or myself Is yeah we right? also really encourage in-home care providers to to give us a call and talk about how we can work together wow Zach this is fascinating and we so appreciate you being here thank you for having me all right and I'm Tim Takus and I'm thanks. Barbara McGinnis and thanks for all our guests thank you for joining us for more information about uh, the programs or the resources that we've talked about today look at our website www.tn-elderlaw.com see you next time mm -hmm.